Hey guys, so I am back again with my next installment, the next bag in the Grimmel Place um, Lego build. So this bag number two, this is what we had in the first bag, so that's what we've built so far. And we have also got Harry and Tonks. In the last video I featured Tonks with her pink hair. I decided to try out the uh, red hair this time. Uh, I also realised, as I mentioned in the last video, I have a tendency to forget things or get things wrong um, when I'm doing these videos for some unknown reason. Uh, even if it's something that I, I definitely know, but my brain just was just like, no, no, you're going to get it wrong this time. Um, and that's what I did with the brooms. So I originally made these brooms like that that is not right they're supposed to this little nib here it's got a little hole in it you put the broom in like that and now it looks much more like a broom <laughs> okay so uh let's start with the figure for this one and okay let's start with the broom put it on right this time uh this may look wrong because it's completely different colours, but apparently it is correct. This is the broom that we get for this character. Uh, they've got a very dark wand, so they're not a bad guy, but they've got a very dark wand. It's practically black. And here is the bottoms. And here we have the top. Um, though whenever I see these ones, I'm always curious as to what their wand would is so like that wand looks like it might be some sort of like uh walnut or something maybe um oh this character he only has one face he doesn't have two like uh most of the figures do and he has a little hat instead of hair and let's give him his broom And here he is, this one, uh, this guy, here. have I got the face on right? Yes, I have. Uh, this guy here, you can't really see it very well. Try to get it to focus on the actual figure, but it won't, okay. But this one is Kingsley, um, our little aura friend. He's a good guy. Uh, so yeah, that's that's Kingsley. He's only got one face, doesn't have two like the others do, like I said. Um, but I like his broom because of the two-tone, like the light contrasting against such a dark um, stem of the broom. I think that's quite cool. Uh, so after, let's get rid of that. And there he is. Yay, Kingsley. Okay. So, let's put him out of the way for a second. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, last video I started talking about um, the fact that um, Sirius Black is my favourite character. So, uh, yeah, he is my favourite character of, of the entire universe, not just the Harry Potter series. Um, I think I just sort of identify him because his life hasn't been the easiest because I don't have a, an amazing relationship with, or I didn't have an amazing relationship with my mother. We tend to butt heads quite a lot. Still love my mum. But yeah, in the past we've, uh, we've not had the best relationship. Um... And so maybe that's why I sort of I am drawn to Sirius because I also have a bit of a rebellious side. I have misbehaved when I was younger. Well, when I was younger, especially not to the degree that he did, because 
if you have read the books, you know uh, just how bad he was. Um, but yeah, so I kind of identify uh, a lot with Sirius, I guess. Oh, and you know, his difficulties. But yeah, that's probably why I like him. But I also, I tend to be very drawn to sort of darker characters. Not necessarily always evil ones, although I, I do tend to go for the bad ones more often than not. Um, but yeah, so I, um, I actually really, really like the whole Black family, even though they're a bit, well, they, some of their opinions are a bit questionable. Um, but I, I am one of those, one of those ones that is drawn to not just the dark side, but, uh, the Black family in general, not just Sirius, but Regulus, um, Orion, all of them. Uh, I was going to mention Sirius's mum, but I can't remember how to pronounce her name because it is a pain to try and pronounce. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I like the whole Black family. Um, I actually bought the Wizarding Trunks um, special edition House of Black box specifically because um, it was the House of Black. Like, I probably wouldn't have bought it or bought the special edition prior to that. I had no intention of buying the special edition prior to that um, just because. Flip it over. Just because I wasn't that um, interested at the time. Um, but when they brought out the uh, House of Black Special Edition, I was just like, yes, I must have it in my possession now. Like, I immediately was just like, take my money, take it. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm, I've always been sort of drawn to darker characters or like trouble characters, things like that. Uh, which unfortunately uh, transcended into my early love life when I was a teenager and in my 20s. Fortunately now I have a very, very nice husband. Um, which is great because I kind of went through it uh, with the, some of the guys in the past. Um, but now I have a very nice man, so that's great. Um, but yeah, so... That's nice for me now. Um, oh, we connect this one other I guess. Okay. Ah, I see what's going on now. So this has little grooves in the side of it. And you slide, 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 right in there. Okay. these guys. And these guys right here. Yeah, um. Okay, so we got a pair. One of these and one of these, these guys. Um, so that on there, and then attach that on. But yeah, as I said in my last video, my appreciation, let's say, for the Black family and for Sirius especially, isn't necessarily in the romantic sense. Like, I've never had a des... I've... Well, it depends, like... More recently, I've started 
going that way. But generally, it's been more of like a fatherly figure because, like, I have an OC, right? And she is Sirius's love child. Um, which I know that might seem a bit weird because um, he's a character that does come across as a bit as either gay or bisexual, at least to me. All right, well, actually, to me, he seems more asexual, and I don't really see him as having like a an overarching desire, like sexually. Um, I think he's just extreme. And some might argue that, oh, but the way he talks about James and stuff, I was like, well, yeah, but doesn't it mean he's sexual in nature. It could just be that he's just, because he was, he's always felt to me like an extremely passionate person to the point of um, being a little bit too intense, um, which I'm sure he'd hate to hear, but I think it comes from his mum. Um, I always got the impression that him and his mum are very similar, maybe not in their belief system, but in terms of like their personality and how they re relate to things and react to things. Could be quite similar. I know that there isn't a whole lot um, about Sirius's mother, but she also appears to be an extraordinarily passionate person. She may be passionate about things that are a little messed up, but that passion is still there. Just as Sirius is very passionate about the people he cares about and what he believes. Um, so that might be a bit of a, a hot take or controversial, but whatever. I have wine, so I don't care. But yeah, so that's my opinion, really. Um, And I'm sure that learning people are going to be mad that I have that opinion, but it is my opinion, and I am entitled to think whatever I like. Okay, let's put these guys on here. But that basically, that's just the vibe I get from them. Is that uh, they're very similar. And obviously, if anyone here knows anything about genetics, is that there are certain similarities that you do get from your parents, even if you are completely different to them in terms of belief system. Like, I'm an atheist, but my mother is, or my, my whole family are, um, are religious. Um, but... Clearly, I'm not. Uh, so, we don't really talk about religion in our family. We don't really talk about a whole lot other than like the mundane sort of stuff, to be quite honest. But yeah, so. Put that one on there, and that one on there. But yeah, we. Uh, pretty much just stick to small talk. Right, obviously, it is a lot safer. Right, and put this on there. But yeah, my OC is his uh, love child with uh, an American singer. Sometimes she's American, sometimes she's Spanish. Um, but yeah, a foreign singer. And, uh, yeah, my OC, like all of my OCs, tends to have a tragic backstory. I don't know what that says about me, but there you go. Uh, I've forgotten what my point was at the beginning. Again, as I mentioned in the last video, I do this a lot. I'll start on a subject and then move on to something completely different and then forget where I was before. <laughs> Yeah, this is a persistent uh, problem for me, but there we go. Such is life. Uh, right, where's the next bath there? Two of those. And two of those. Okay. And that one goes on there. That one goes on there. That one there. And that one 
and that. Mm. Ah, there you are. I'm genuinely anticipating now that I'm going to get in trouble with great many people over my last comment about serious with his mum. But I'm like, oh, I should not have said that. Oh, well, I've said it now. So, not much I can do about it at this point. Uh, yeah, this is a persistent problem for me again. Because I sort of say whatever comes into my head, and then afterwards I realise, oh wait, I probably shouldn't have said that. Right, now we need to wear these little corners. And there. And we get the things. That one on there. I don't know, I kind of, I guess I kind of feel like I'm just chatting to a friend, I guess, which is quite nice. Right, and like that. Oh, wait, I think I've put this in. Oh. A lot of the time when I get these little pieces, these little flat pieces that I need to take off, I have to resist the urge to just bite them. Because I would totally do that, because it is a lot faster, but uh, not very good for my teeth. And I'm constantly telling my daughter not to bite pieces off. And I would be a bit of a hypocrite if I did that myself when I'm telling her not to. Um, and that one goes... Oh, wait, I need one of these ones. First to go on the end, and then one of these to go here, and then one of these goes on here. next to it. I've run out of things to say, which isn't particularly good. Um, one of those. Some of the time I'll collect all of the pieces that I need for a specific part and then other times I'm just winging it I guess but today I feel like doing it this way
Oh, there like that. Okay. And let me flip over. There we go. One of these on there. These down here. One on the end here. on here and another one find here okay, you need to flip it back all the way up and one of these to hold this all together just out of interest what is everyone's favourite character? Oh, yeah, so what is everyone's favourite character? So leave me a comment and let me know uh, what your favourite character is and maybe give an explanation as to why you like them so much. Uh, another point about the series that I read uh, someone else make once um, is that he, is, he hasn't had it easy and he's like, you're only just, even just beginning to get his life back to a good place and suddenly he's just like he's gone and I was like what like the first time I read that I was I wasn't like upset like crying I was angry I was just like really uh, yeah I was super annoyed when he died I was like no it's like one of the best characters in the entire series and you just killed him off what is wrong with you well, now we know there are many things wrong with her. Okay, right, and so how am I putting this in? Okay. Hmm. Oh wait, I'm doing it the wrong way for a start. It would be handy if I had it the right way around, that would be good. Okay, so it slots in. Ah, yeah, it slots in. No, it doesn't. Okay, not quite. Okay. I should be able to get this off without having to take out all of these little pieces. Right, let's see. Right, okay. okay no, nope, don't use nails. I'm going to be ripping them off. Okay. Right, take this part off.
<laughs> yep. Last one. Yes, I know what I just said. Last one, and my daughter's not in this room currently, so I'm not gonna get in trouble. So I'm back in there. Yeah, I put the grooves the wrong way around. I put the grooves facing that way and it needs to face that way. Right. Fortunately, I didn't have to take all these tiny little pieces off, which would have been super annoying. All right, and that goes on the end. And then put these cups on here. The interesting thing about Lego is that whilst you're building it, you're not entirely sure which is decorative or which people pieces are necessarily decorative, especially at the beginning like this, or what pieces are actually functional and support the structure or are part of the structure. Right. So now, should, okay, my thing fell down there. Need to put you back in. Get back in there. Oh, there. Why isn't that going all the way in? Why aren't you going in? Do it again for the other side. I'm guessing that this, these two bags are part of the, um, the structure that allows the buildings to open and close, which is very cool. I really like that feature actually. The opposite, we've got to position all the pieces in the opposite direction. So while that side was facing this way, this side will face this way. Okay, so now I got these pieces on here, these pieces on here. goes in here and then get that one oh I can't find where the piece is this always freaking happens that in a minute we'll just put that one on there yeah one of my um small triangle pieces has gone missing 
good work on. We will find it momentarily. I'm sure it's not one of the ones I've lost. So I think I found them later on. So I don't know where it's gone. Uh, that's going to annoy me now. Oh, still in the packet. Okay, and this boy goes on here. Oh, I need to put this one on the end to cover up that brown. And then this one from here. Also, another thing, let me know if you actually like these videos, because I seriously enjoy doing them, but I have no idea if I am the only one, because there's a good chance I'm the only one. It's not going to stop me from continuing to do them, but, or it might, I don't know. Depends how fervently you hate these builds. But, um, oh, I do have plans at some point to improve if I continue to do these um, building videos which I most likely will um, I do have plans to get um, a decent camera so that I can actually film a downward shot so you can actually see me actually build it as opposed to just doing this the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm pretty much just working with my phone uh, so I am kind of limited in uh, camera angles and things like that uh, which is kind of a pain because I would like to be able to to actually see me building it like with like a bird's eye view of it but obviously at the moment that's not going to be possible it's, and I tried to do the time lapse version but that didn't work out well because a bunch of the video kind of froze up on me and I was a bit like ah, why are you doing that but I didn't realise that until I'd actually uploaded it, which is kind of annoying. I didn't particularly feel like I'm doing all of the, the several hours of work I'd done on the divination set to reshoot it. So here we are. Okay, and that's what we've done there. So then we attach this one to the other side. Yeah. I'm sure there's another piece to get this on here. Ah, oh, yes, okay. I've missed a bit out. That's what I've done. On this part. Okay, that one goes there. And then the grey one goes on top of here. And then that one goes on the end. up Slide, slide, slide. Slide it in there. Wonderful. Very nearly done with this one. Okay, so we've got these two right here. Okay. 
and that goes that connects onto these little with the little spike little tubes sticking up well not tubes but the little uh, phallic looking things that connects those two so uh so we can hold it like that and slot that one in there ah, i've got to pull it out a bit and just line that up best i can yeah, there we go clips right in seconds while I itch my eye. Okay, so we've got that one there. These two last two bits right here. And we've got one goes down this side to secure that side in place and to cover up this right here. Here we go. This is bag one and two all done. Okay, and if you a little look, woo! It does take a bit of a shove to get it to move, so it does come out very sharply, which isn't the best thing. Like I would have been nice if it. Like if you gently do it like that and not pull it out the whole way, then it would be, it works a bit more smoothly, but it is still a bit stiff. I don't know if that's going to change as it gets used or not, but it is a little stiff and you can't pull it out the whole way, otherwise you're going to end up uh, slamming it a lot, which sounds fun, but it's going to jet out pretty quickly. Um, so this is it not pulled out completely. See, you can tell it's a little catching a little bit, but I pull it out like that. So you got really got to, sometimes you really got to give it a good shove, which isn't ideal. And that just fell out. Now the problem with Lego is that sometimes the pieces will fall out, but it's all good. Okay. Okay, I got a pick that off and then reinsert this into the slidey bit there we go but yeah it doesn't help that i'm holding it upright but yeah it does jet out there fairly quickly so but so far we're doing great we've got bag one and two down that's awesome i really like the design of kingsley he's super cute with his purple and blue and gold there he is you can't really see him very his face very well because the camera won't focus, um, which is super annoying. But I'm hoping that you can, if I shine the light on him a bit, you can see the the design of his little his little waistcoat right here, and he's got his jacket here, and his little face up here. I can't because the arms in the way. But there you can see his little eyes and stuff. So yeah, that's really cool. I love his design. He's awesome. I love, I really like how they've made the black house like move. So it's sort of appearing out of between, in between the houses, just like in the, uh, the series. So love that. Okay. And that is it for this video. I, um, oh, sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Just really love doing Lego. Um, hopefully, I would like to do more Lego. Maybe not just Harry Potter, but like other franchises. Um, that would be super awesome. I would love that so much. Um, if there's any sort of fran Lego franchises you would like to see me do, 
please leave a comment, let me know. Uh, same with, let me know what uh, your favourite uh, Harry uh, Wizarding World character and why is. And um, yeah, and if you, just let me know if you like this video because I really enjoyed making it. So I will see you in the next instalment. Bye.